What's going on Lego Maniacs? It's Ty, the Lego guy here. And today we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be taking a look at the Mega Constructs line, specifically the Master Chief helmet, which has 414 pieces and retails for 30 USD. We're gonna be reviewing it, but we're also gonna compare it against Lego's counterpart. We're gonna take a look at some of the Lego helmet busts and compare it against the Halo one. This one should get interesting. Again, every once in a while, I like to do some other building block company that's not Lego, although Lego is definitely my favorite. Anyways, we're gonna take a look at this set's positives and negatives and see where it stands. But enough talk, let's get right into it. And we'll start this review by taking a look at the box. Pretty simple looking. It is taken from the Halo Infinite line and it is rated eight and up. It's considered a pro builder. And I have to agree with that just because it was a little tricky to make. It was quite similar to the Lego bus. Moving to the side, we have the helmet from a couple different angles. Sorry about the box, it is a little damaged. And then on the back, it just shows off the one feature that this helmet does have. You can put this data chip in the back of his helmet, which is quite cool. We will show that off in the review. And I love the look of this sword. I will be buying this if I ever do see it, especially if it's on sale. On this side, it just shows off the helmets a little bit more. And then on the top, it literally just says Halo. And on the bottom, just the barcode. Let's now take a look at the helmet. And here's the actual Master Chief's helmet. Give you guys a 360 view of it. If you guys have played the video games, you'll know that this looks very accurate to what we see. Shaping on this is exact. It looks exactly the way it should. And then in the rear there, you may be wondering why there's a big hole. We will get into that. Love this uh, metallic looking green as well dark green, whatever you want to call it. The shield piece that they used was quite interesting. It's basically like a long slender piece of plastic that kind of can be moved around. It is quite flexible, very smart design. Getting into the helmet a little bit closer, it does say Halo Infinite on the bottom. This was a printed piece. And that's what the top of his helmet kind of looks like. Like the fact too, but they have these little side areas right here where it stores these gray pieces. It looks like uh, blasters or something, but it is just part of his helmet. And then back here, if you're wondering what this is used for, well, they have a AI chip and what you can kind of do with this is slide it in just like so and it kind of stores it. Overall, I was very impressed with this helmet. The fact that it was only 400 pieces and it's this detailed is great. What we're gonna do now is compare it against some of the Lego Star Wars helmets. So here we have Boba Fett's along with Darth Vader's. And I have to say, let's, let's just be honest here. This looks great. If you displayed all three of these like this, I think it would look awesome on a shelf. Now, the one thing about this is you'll notice that the Boba Fett one and the Darth Vader one are quite a bit larger but it's partly to do with the stands. The stands are much, much taller than the Master Chiefs. In fact, if you put them more at eye level, this is what they kind of look like. So yes, the Boba Fett and Darth Vader one are bigger, but they're not that much bigger. And then we'll give you guys a view of them to their sides. So again, it's definitely smaller by comparison, but it's not that much smaller. And the fact that it's half or less than half the price of the Lego Star Wars bus is crazy. Mega Constructs is a little bit cheaper though. Their brick quality isn't quite as good. So you gotta take that into account. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If Lego should maybe make some smaller helmets that are a little bit cheaper and more comparable to the Master Chiefs. I really wouldn't be against that, especially if they were more of no-name characters or something where you, you wanted to have a bust of a character but you didn't want to spend like 60 bucks or more on it. I think that's a great idea. But again, the quality on this is uh, quite good and yeah, I will probably buy more of these Mega Constructs helmets in the future. They look quite comparable to LEGO. Yes, their brick quality isn't quite as good, but it's still pretty decent. And again, you're not really playing with this, you're just setting it up as a 
bust. Mega Construct's brick quality is nothing like Lepin or anything. It's far superior to that. It's just basically the next best thing or second place to Lego. But again, I think that these look awesome side by side. But yeah, that pretty well does the comparison and review. Let's now get into the end of it and get my final thoughts. Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. Personally, I feel that this Master Chief helmet is pretty decent, especially for the cost, 30 bucks. That's not too bad. That's half as much or over half as much than some of the Lego Star Wars busts. Although they are considerably larger, as you can see, even just from the scale right now with the two of them, or the three of them, I should say but they are a cheaper alternative. 30 bucks is not bad. I think that these would look good next to each other. And this is possibly something Lego could keep in mind that if they wanted to lower the piece count, they could still have a pretty detailed looking model like the Halo bus because it is just slightly smaller. I mean, the Boba Fett helmet, I think has 600 pieces and the Darth Vader one has 800. You can do a decent bust at 400. But again, these are a bit larger. So it really just is preference. Do you prefer a larger bust? that's more expensive, or do you prefer a cheaper one that's a bit smaller? Overall though, I think that they both have their positives and negatives, and uh, yeah, if they, any, if they make any future busts, I will be buying them from Halo or from Mega Constructs, along with that sword that we saw in the box that just looks awesome. But let me know what your personal thoughts are on Mega Constructs and on the Lego helmets. Always interested to hear your guys' take, but that pretty well does a review. But if you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you know, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future Lego bus or Mega Construct bus. I'm trying to get more into kind of that niche or that theme, but that's all I got for you again. But thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.